Hey folks, everything new under the sun. This is my two month review of the EG4 3000 watt uh, charge controller, all in one inverter um, charge controller, and the EG4 LL 100 amp hour battery. Now, this is kind of my, my current setup. Um, it's uh, mostly finalized. I've got my uh, panel there um, to which I have some circuits going to. Uh, being fed by the EG4 uh, all-in-one solar charge controller, of course. And uh, you get these nice big long uh, power cables, which are going down to my single 100 amp hour battery. Now, this is a, a 5,120 watt hour uh, battery. This is the top of the line one from Signature Solar. Uh, apparently has about 7,500 uh, cycles in it before you start seeing uh, capacity degradation. But it's working well. You can see it's been here for a couple of months because it is absolutely dusty. And you'll notice uh, I've got my firewood here. Uh, so, um, by the way, it's not a fire hazard. This is uh, completely uh, encased in metal. Um, there's, I don't even think there's vents on the back of it, so no fans or anything. So a little bit of dust on the top isn't too bad. I eventually hope to um, get it maybe hung up there or some sort of her uh, server rack kind of hanging from the rafters there from the floor um, just to get it off the ground because uh, I do toss my firewood down here so that's just uh, just that's just part of what happens my firewood comes down here um, and it's the only place I can get it because my main panel uh, is right there so this is uh, completely off-grid um, uh, except uh, for uh, the incoming electricity should the uh, solar panels not work um, it does have one single uh, 15 amp cord um, to uh, power the circuits that are in there. Now I need to measure that, of course, with the, the circuits that I have on the unit, or, or on, on the house, um, that, that this 3000 watt uh, all-in-one charge controller is powering. Um, but so far it's uh, sized correctly for, for what I need. And then up there, um, if I can point to it, is my little uh, solar assistant uh, Raspberry Pi, which is plugged into this guy and uh, sending data over Wi-Fi. I have it strung up there because the Wi-Fi signal wasn't the best. So that's uh, how I have it configured right now. Um, uh, just to give you an idea of what I've done so far, and this is kind of the extent of uh, my money at this time. It's being, you can see the, um, the uh, solar cables coming down there. Uh, it's uh, being fed with uh, about 3,000 watts of solar uh, uh, power right now. Uh, and uh, it, it works fairly well. Um, on a sunny day, it, it will charge um, this 100 amp hour battery in about uh, two or three hours. Um, it's not bad, but this is all expandable. And, and that's uh, certainly my intent to get uh, all this expanded. Probably the next thing would be um, a secondary battery, uh, which ends up being in Canada about three, four thousand dollars for another one of those. Um, and then, of course, a secondary EG4 unit so I can do 240 volts. Right now, of course, I can only do 120 volts because I have one of them, but if you put them two in parallel, um, it'll do the 240. So this is a completely 100% expandable setup that I have. I'm ready to go, ready to expand uh, should we need to, should we have the money, etc. And I've got, of course, two poles in that, uh, that panel there um, that I can hook up. Currently one pole is hooked up to it right now, and so I've got uh, three breakers, and the breakers in between each of those would be the other pole for 120 volts if I want to uh, get the 100, get the uh, 240 volt going. Um, technically, uh, I could cross those two poles and uh, run 120 off each of them from the same inverter, but I, I, uh, that would be dangerous because then if you had uh, uh, a breaker that crossed both of them for 240, you'd, you'd have trouble because it's not a synchronized signal. Um, so overall, um, the EG4, uh, this unit here, is absolutely flawless. I've had no issues with it. I had a power mister uh, up there before, and the issues were that you'd have to reset the uh, MPPT controller, basically uh, 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 pull out the uh, solar plug and plug it back in, because it, it uh, every morning when the voltage came up, it wouldn't reevaluate and recalculate um, the the best uh, you know, input for it. So you had to keep resetting resetting it. This uh, receives up to uh, 500 volts. Um, and I think I have about 240, uh, sorry, 250 going into it from my solar panels right now. And it's been flawless. Uh, likewise, this battery here has been absolutely flawless, has never shut down. I had a Renogy 50 amp hour 48 volt battery, which uh, gave me lots of over, um, 
over draw errors and it shut down now and then I'd have to restart it. Um, I don't know if that was a fault of me. It probably was my fault, but certainly with this 100 amp hour, it has never had a problem. It's never shut down. Uh, it's always worked. Never had an issue with either of these. The only thing that I tinker with uh, in this setup is the, uh, the the solar assistant up there. I'm trying to get the login because it has issues connecting to my network, but that's unrelated to the Signature Solar hardware uh, itself. I think uh, uh, in terms of, uh, again, what I would want to do next is add add another battery and add a secondary EG4 so I can go that 240. The problem with the single 3000 uh, is that you can uh, you may have brownouts. If you have a big load, a microwave comes on and, and fires up uh, at the same time and maybe a well pump's running, that's going to quickly max out your surge and uh, and and use up 100% of the the inverter, which again causes a bit of uh, a bit of brownouts when you when it comes to your lights. You'll see the lights dim a little bit, um, uh, or your microwave will kind of grunt and groan while it's starting up, and you don't want that. So you really need to have um, multiple of these to run a house for sure. This is just kind of a backup for our uh, critical systems. Um, you could go with the EG4. Uh, I think it's the EX6500. Um, but then you would have one big point of failure. Uh, sure, it would do 6,000 watts when you need it to, but it's a single point of failure. So if it dies, everything goes down. Whereas if I get multiple of these, I may lose 3,000 watts of an inverter uh, if one unit dies, but uh, I'll have the other unit of 3,000 watts uh, there. So it's maybe one reason to uh, get multiple smaller units versus one larger unit. Um, but they do have the... Um, the 120, uh, 240 volt uh, EX6500, I think it is, uh, which would be nice to have all in one. Uh, but of course, with my battery, I don't think I can, I wouldn't even be able to do the 240 volts uh, with a single battery. So and it's an expandable system and uh, definitely uh, suggested, recommended uh, by me, Signature Solar. Um, you, you pay a bit for it, but not too much, actually. They're, they're very competitively priced and uh, you, you get the support which is nice. Uh, the EG4 unit looks nice, looks professional, and uh, it's uh, though it is Chinese made, it, it doesn't look like uh, it, uh, it's completely Chinese made, and uh, it's uh, you know the support's provided by a U.S. company. So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, uh, I'd be interested to know how you guys have the EG4s uh, set up, how you're doing it. Uh, I'm sure I'll hear lots of comments on how I should do this more correctly and more safely, etc., etc. Uh, but it just works. What I think is the coolest thing uh, simply is this, having an outlet uh, right on it, uh, which is coming straight off the solar, and you can plug anything right into it. Of course, I do, again, I have some house circuits directly into the panel, um, but it's just uh, pretty cool to be able to plug right in beside it and use solar power. So I can, for this one, the grid tie, I can actually unplug this and the whole thing keeps going. If the grid goes down, uh, everything keeps going. Uh, it's just that there's no grid backup uh, when, when, you know, at night when there's no solar. So uh, I'll leave there, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, and we'll see you in the next video.